Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading now for September. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I have been sitting here for a minute, you know, before I turn on the camera to see what I get for you. And, you know, the very first card I got was the Hangman. Instantly, instantly, it's a, I mean instantly. So that is in a state of suspension, in a state of limbo. You may be struggling right now. You're struggling with letting go. You're struggling with change, resistance. Okay, there's some sort of resistance here. From there, I I was the sacral chakra came into focus. That's I I I want I want. Now that is about your emotions, your sexual desires. It's like, you know, I think that you you are wanting. You know, you have these desires that need to be met, right? That's it's a big focus, right? You have these this big focus on, you know. You know, being uh, fulfilled. All right. So then I saw um, the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Cups, which is things are starting to look up. Think about it and wish for it. Deep fulfillment is coming. Deep fulfillment is coming, but you have to, you have to believe in it. You have to, you have to do, make some sort of change because with that hangman, that's somebody that is resisting change. There's something that you need to change. I'm not sure what that is, but I, I really feel like there's a big focus on getting your desires met um, and, and heart, something about your heart, because I also saw the heart chakra. It's like you're going through some sort of healing, some sort of emotional healing right now. And I feel like this emotional healing that you're going through is going to lead you to getting your desires met because the Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. But it may be you may need a little bit more time. I'm not sure because the hangman, you know, is a, is a state of suspension, a state of, you know, time perhaps, right? So maybe you need to wait for it. I'm not sure. But I have to tell you that if you are single, deep fulfillment is coming. It's coming. But there's some sort of resistance here. Now, the hangman is the master of non-attachment. Now, if you are afraid of attachment and, and you don't really want attachment and you want to go and you want to play with all kinds of people, the universe feels that. The universe sees that. The universe knows that. So maybe that's what you need to change. I'm not sure what that is, but the hangman is about change. Okay, it really, really is. in resistance to change. So what do we got for September for Scorpio? There's definitely an opportunity for love and passion, okay? And I think that's what you want, right? You want it both. You want it. You want it. You want it. I know that you do. Um, or is it going to happen? Well, let's see what comes up. Um, if you are in a coupled relationship, still, that hangman applies to you. There's some sort of resistance here. Resistance to allowing so maybe you need to let go of your control in some way. I'm not sure what that is, but what do we got for Scorpio? September. The star wish fulfillment. Okay, getting what you wish for. Remember I said think about it and wish for it? This is a wish being granted. This is, you know, healing. This is renewal. This is peace of mind. So you may be getting exactly what you wished for. You may. You may. But now, now this is being recorded in August. You know, and I'm going to say this. I, and I have to say it because a lot of people don't realize. This is for September. This is a preview. <laughs> Some people really don't get it. They don't. They watch it that one day and they're like, oh no, that doesn't resonate. Well, you know what? September is what? Uh, 15, 16 days away? Or this, whenever you watch this or you may watch it in September. You know, timing is fluid. Keep that in mind. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. And it's funny because when I was doing my channeling, I sensed an Aquarius. So interesting. I'm not sure if you are dealing for an, with an Aquarius or not. Um, you may be holding on because the hangman is holding on, resisting. And maybe you're holding on to somebody that you shouldn't be holding on to. Keep that in mind. 
What do we got? I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Sagittarius because Sagittarius just popped into my head. Um, five of Wands. Now this is a card of competition, a card of conflict, tension. Um, we got these people that are playing, they're playing some sort of game. You know, um, be careful. Be careful. Hmm. Strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. Um, you could be dealing with a player. I mean, this is these people are playing a game. I'm not sure if you're dealing with a player or not, but I just got to be honest with you. Um, Two of Pentacles. This is a card of change. This is a card of adapting, being flexible. It looks as though there's a ship that is arriving, but you notice there's two ships. You're going to have to make a choice of some sort. So you're probably going to have a couple, and this is competition. You may have multiple options this month. Eight of Swords. Now this is a card of confinement, containment. So we have somebody here that is confining themselves to something and it's you need to escape you you have the ability to escape whatever it is that you are trapped in that you you are keeping yourself trapped in it i feel like you guys are dealing with somebody or you have been or you're still holding on with that hey man to somebody that is affecting your wish fulfillment you need to be strong you need to you need to find the strength to let go if you were to look up the meaning of this card that is what this is. It's not the strength to hold on. It's the strength to let go. Maybe of somebody that's playing with you. This is playing a game as well. Juggling is a game. So it feels like you're dealing with a player or you have been somebody that's keeping you restricted and you're allowing it. Queen of Swords. Somebody that is miserable. Queen of Swords reversed. This is somebody who is miserable. Now that your challenge, oh, we're gonna get, let's get the rest of the cards. This is in the challenge position. Eight of Ace of Swords reversed. The lovers reversed. Okay, so it appears to me that you guys are holding on to a false contract of some sort. Hey, man, is holding on. Ace of Swords reversed is. No communication, not seeing a situation clearly. Something needs to be let go of. And if this reading's not for you, it's not for you. But we got somebody here that is holding on to something that they, that they need to let go of. Six of Pentacles, no reciprocation, no equal give and take, rejection. Maybe you've been rejected and you don't want to accept it because it's a lack of acceptance. Or the person that you are dealing with could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, a Leo, a Gemini, Aquarius. Um, you are, it's like you're holding on to somebody that... Or they're holding on to you. There's been some sort of rejection and somebody is not letting go. And it's, it's a game. It is absolutely a game. Oh my God. What? Somebody, yes. There's memories there, right? You don't want to let go of those memories. You don't want to. You feel like this person is a soulmate. Right? You feel like that's what this is. If this right here, it's like you need to let go of the past. You're, you're holding on to the memories, romanticizing. We got somebody here that is romanticizing the past. And it's time to reevaluate. Somebody is not seeing clearly, definitely. The Ace of Swords reversed and the Judgment reversed. We got somebody here that is refusing to accept. Refusing to accept that, that there's a false contract that is keeping them stuck, keeping them trapped. And I feel like, you know, there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment here if you can stop reciprocating with this person. Stop giving this person your energy. This person is like an energy vampire. It's, that's what that is, like a psychic vampire. It's like they're stealing your energy. And you're allowing it. You're letting them. That's what I see. So, um, this could be a family member. It could be. It could be a family member. It could be a lover. 
it could be whatever it is it's false it's a false contract and you definitely need to reevaluate six 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 sixes are about reevaluation you need to get your life back on track sixes are about choices they're about um, balance it's like something is unbalanced here okay we got two of them that is are reversed Okay, something is unbalanced, and I can see that as well. You, In order for you to bring balance back to your life, you're going to have to drop something. You can't keep playing this game with whoever it is. They're playing with you. Somebody's playing with you. You're allowing it. Um, and it's, it could just be energy. You, they could be playing with you through their energy. Um, 666 is a spiritual wake-up call. And this is refusing to wake up. And this is refusing to wake up. Yeah, it really is. So, and this lovers reverse the false contract. It is a false contract. It's not meant to be. There's no compatibility. And there's indecision over stepping away from it. Three of pentacles. There's no teamwork. There's no togetherness. This person doesn't respect you. There's a lack of respect. And you deserve to be loved. You deserve to have a relationship where you get reciprocation. And there's no reciprocation here, wherever it's at. The Empress Reverse. We got somebody who doesn't know their value, doesn't know their worth, doesn't want to face the pain of delivery, of release. You're dealing with somebody that is selfish. Okay, you are dealing with somebody that is selfish. And I feel like it's time for you to move on quickly, quickly. You're probably hoping this person is going to keep communicating with you and that they're going to give you another chance, right? That's toxic. It's not healthy. I think that you guys are holding on to an unhealthy situation that is based on lust, right? It's based on sex. There's there's some sort of connection there. It's a karmic connection, okay? Judgment is karma. And so in this one, we got some karma here. And it's time for you to move on. I feel like the Page of Swords. I think that you are very conflicted. I feel like... Um, there's a lot of observation. There's wanting to go back. There's wanting communication. I feel like whoever you're dealing with, they're, they don't care if they hurt you. It's not about you. It's about them. I think that they're very, very selfish. Um, I think it's time for you to start over. It's time for you to close this chapter. It's time for you to step over the finish line. It's time for your new beginning. It's it's time. It's time for a new beginning here. I think that you have an opportunity for love with the, pay, with the Knight of Cups. But you're going to have to end that last phase. You're going to have to end that last cycle. You know, this is a, this is a lesson, okay? And with the judgment in the world, karmic lesson. And you know what that karmic lesson is about? Worth and value. We got somebody who doesn't know their value. We got this page of cups. I didn't even see it come out. It must have been hiding under this page of swords. You got an offer of love coming in. Somebody is going to send you an offer of love. Maybe it's this person that is sending you love, but I don't think it is. I think it's somebody else. You got two people here. You got one person that's not communicating or not communicating truthfully. And then you got this other person. And that's why this two of pentacles is here. You got two op two choices. It makes sense. And the lover says two choices as well. You got two choices, Scorpio. You can, con you can. Okay, you got two choices. You can choose to be confined to the person that hurt you, to the person that is keeping you stuck, or you can accept a new offer from somebody. I think you have a new offer from somebody that could bring you peace, that could help you to heal. You have to make a choice. There's an opportunity for love here. But I think that in, in on one hand, because see, we got two hands here. We got one hand. You kind of want a reconciliation with somebody else. On the other hand, you just want love, right? You want somebody to love you, but you can't have your cake and eat it too. You got to make a choice. You got to make make a choice to drop one of these. One of these people is selfish. One of these people is an energy vampire. One of these people is playing with you. And you have somebody that is probably a little bit younger than you that is probably another water sign. That's my guess. Could be a Capricorn. Um, 
that is is going to be offering you or is offering you something that could make you very very happy but you're you're going to have to let go of that false contract once and for all so i think there's you could have a reconnection with somebody from your past somebody from your childhood somebody that you grew up with um there could be a, a there could be a reconciliation with this person when i say reconciliation doesn't mean you had sex with them okay this could be somebody that you haven't seen in a long, long, long time and you guys come together and, you know, there's some sort of connection. I don't know if that's the case, but it just came out of my mouth. So I feel like you guys are stuck with that hangman and this eight of swords. This is right. You're stuck. You're stuck on a false contract. You have a choice between two people. You can choose to be stuck, and that is the meaning of the Eight of Swords. Or you can choose to accept this new offer of love. You are going to receive a message from somebody that probably, you know, has a crush on you. Um, maybe they have feelings for you. Maybe they've always liked you. You know, they've always thought about you. Something like that. And, you know, there's an opportunity to have a new beginning with this person. And it could be successful. This person could be in a different part of the world. This person could be back home where you used to live. I don't know where that came from. It just came out of my mouth. I feel like um, there could be a distance between you and this person. Um, there's an opportunity to have a major new beginning here that could lead to a serious relationship. Okay? It could. We have the Knight of Cups, we have the Page of Cups, we have the Ace of Cups, we have the World. This could be a soulmate connection, and I think it's new. I think it's new. You guys are holding on to a false contract, and you have to make the choice to drop it before the universe. Well, it's not about the universe in this case. That's what I just heard. It's not about the universe. It's all in your hands. It's all in your hands. This is not universal. This is this is in your hands. It's like you are holding on to something or somebody that is stealing your energy. They are playing with you. You're going to receive a message. You're going to receive communication from somebody that really likes you, really has feel, real feelings for you. Somebody that is heartfelt, somebody that is loving, somebody that is on your level, somebody that you can see eye to eye with, but you have to stop confining yourself to the person that is not good for you. There's an opportunity for wish fulfillment. I think a wish is going to be granted, but it may not come in the form that you thought. That's what I got. You, you're about to have a major new beginning. You may be moving. You may be moving. Um, this, this is, this is, this is love. Okay, you got an opportunity for love here. This is a new opportunity for love. This person is younger than you. This person is a little bit younger than you. And this person is emotionally available. I, my advice is to give them a chance. And that's my advice. Good luck.